Welcome back YouTube. I hope you are all doing well. Let's begin our next challenge. Level 12. The goal for this level is to retrieve the password stored in the data.txt file, which is a hex dump of a file that has been repeatedly compressed. They also indicate that for this level it may be useful to create a directory under the slash temp. Basically, the data.txt file has been repeatedly encrypted and we need to decrypt each layer to arrive at the password. Let's begin. We have the data.txt file available to us. And we will first make a new directory so we can save those intermediate files we will have. We do this by using the make directory command. And we can name this directory anything we want as long as it is under slash temp. So I'll name it code with T. We want to copy our file to this new directory. And then we want to change into this new directory we just created by using the change directory command. And if we check here, we got our original file. Let's decrypt our first layer. The question indicated this was a hex dump encryption, which looks like this. We will use the xxd command to decrypt. xxd makes a hex dump or does the reverse. In this case, we want to do the reverse. So we'll need to specify the dash r option. So the following should be our command. But as you can see, if we just execute this, it will output the decryption to the terminal, while we actually want to save it to a file. So we'll need to redirect it. So this will be our new commit. We want to redirect using the arrow key to a new file, which we will name decrypt.txt. This was a success. Let's try and read what this new file is. As expected, it is still encrypted. But how do we know which encryption was used? We will use the file command to identify this. So this file is gzip compressed data. To decrypt this, we can use the gzip command gzip compresses or expands files. So we'll have to give it the dash D option to decompress. So this will be our command. Notice that gzip will automatically put the output in a new file. So we don't need to redirect the output like we did for the last command. However, we get an error saying gzip doesn't recognize the suffix, which is the .txt. Because normally, gzip files end in .gzit. So what we'll do is we'll need to rename this file using the move command. Now we retry. This was a success. Let's identify what encryption is used for our new file we just obtained. This is bzip2 encrypted data. So we'll use the bzip2 command. 
we want to specify an option to identify that we need to decrypt it and not encrypt. We will use the dash D option again. As indicated, it wrote to the decrypted.out file. We identify our next encryption level. Here, gzip encryption was again used. Remember, if we are dealing with gzip, the suffix needs to be .gz. So, first we'll change it, and then we'll decrypt it. This was a success. Again, we want to identify the type of encryption used. Here, POSIX tar is used. So we'll use the tar command to decrypt it. Again, we will need to specify some options. The first one is to decrypt. Or how they call it, extract. So use the dash x command. And for tar, we will also need to use another option to specify the file that we want to decrypt. We will use this dash f option. So our command will be This was a success again. Our new file is data5.bin. Let's see what encryption was used. Again, POSIX star. So we will use the same command on this new file. Our new file is data6.bin. Again, step one. Identifying the type of encryption. It is bzip2. So, step two, decrypt the file. Next layer. POSIX star. We know how to decrypt this. Our new file is data8.bin. gzip encryption was used. So remember, we need to change the suffix. We decrypt. Our new file is data8. This file consists of ASCII text. So let's read it. Congratulations, after a long level, we just obtained our password. Let's log out by either typing logout, exit, or control D. We want to log in to the next level with this password we just obtained. We successfully logged in. To register our completion of level 12, we type the WeChal command. Everything is successfully synchronized. Let's head over to the WeChal website to verify. We update. Again, congratulations on completing level 12. You rock. Thank you for watching this video. Please show your support and hit that like button. Subscribe and turn on notifications to keep up to date with our next achievements.